because it is Friday it's time for you guys to go out for the night to hang out it's the weekend um, there's a lot of dates going on so I wanted to do like a nighttime date appropriate doing whatever it is that you're doing this weekend type of look and I wanted to do this look based around this pigment by MICA Beauty Cosmetics called Reluctance and it is like an olive shimmery olive green type of pigment and so I did something that was a little bit darker like I said appropriate for the nighttime and um, I just love this pigment and I thought it was gorgeous so I wanted to use this today also if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably already know but I'm doing the 100 days of makeup so for 100 days I'm going to be posting up a different makeup look every single day I want it to be completely different um, and so it's going to be really fun. I'm posting it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr. I think I got them all. So make sure that you're following me on all of those social medias. Um, it's just Bomb Beautiful on all of them and then Bomb Beautiful page on Facebook. But uh, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be colorful looks, crazy looks, wearable looks not wearable looks. Um, it's just going to be really fun. So come check it out. I've already done two, two days. So today is going to be day three, which is obviously going to be this makeup, obviously, because this is what I did today. So I have three days of makeup already up. So make sure that you check it out. And yeah, you want to know how I did this? That's why you're here. Let's get started. Okay, so I put my hair back. Check. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows before I do anything else. This is the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio in light. I don't know, I, I kinda like this. It's okay, I guess, not my favorite. I feel like you can't be very precise with it. Then I'm gonna set my brows with the Maybelline Brow Drama, Sculpting Brow Mascara in Transparent. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start with some tape. This is a trick to getting a very crisp line, a very crisp eye look. And I'm just gonna wiggle the tape around a little bit in my fingers, just so it's not super, super sticky and it doesn't hurt when you take it off. And then I'm just going to kind of line them up with my eyebrow and try to make them as even as possible. Then I'm going to start priming, and this is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. The reason I'm using a glitter primer is because we're going to be using pigment. If you're using eyeshadow, you don't have to worry about it. You can just use a regular primer. But the pigment that is the star of the show today is the MICA Beauty Cosmetics Pigment in Reluctance. So I'm getting that on a flat brush, and I did spray my brush first with the setting spray by L'Oreal. And then I'm just going to pat that all over the lid and I'm going to bring it out as well towards that tape and kind of make a little bit of a shape there. Then we're getting into this NYX Single Eyeshadow in Taupe. And I'm getting in with a more precise kind of crease brush. And I'm just going to start adding that as a transition. It's going to help whenever we lay the darker olive color over top. It's just gonna help it blend a lot better. Then I'm getting into that darker olive. And this is the Garden Botanica um, eyeshadow in Moth. And I'm getting into a crease brush, a crease brush that's small enough that it will make a more of a precise precise line I guess you can say something that's a little bit more precise than a bigger fluffier one and I'm putting that into the crease and then very close to the lash line and then I'm gonna go back into that NYX color with a blending brush you can see it's kind of more fluffier and I'm just going to start blending I don't want any harsh lines as far as in the crease, I want it to be very blended and just see transition really nicely. And 
And I'm just using this cream color. This is the Divergent palette. Um, this is Altruistic Almond is what it's called. I don't like to mention it because <laughs> It was a limited edition palette, but I really like this almond color. So any cream color will work just fine. And then I'm using a fluffy, super fluffy blending brush that has nothing on it to just help blend. Then I'm getting into this gorgeous e.l.f. mineral pigment. And this one's called Celebrity. And I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible and I'm spraying that onto my brush and I'm going to start really patting that in onto the lid and just right onto the center of the lid is what I'm going to do. So it's okay if it doesn't look blended at first. We are going to get into a separate brush and just blend it out a little bit better. But this is just going to make it pop and just make it really brighten. I love this color. It's so gorgeous. And then I'm just blending anything that needs blending. I'm also going to put it on a small, tiny little brush and I'm gonna put it in the inner tear duct area to brighten. Then, oh, I completely forgot to take off my tape. Make sure you take your tape off before you try to start on your face. This probably would help a little bit. <laughs> okay, now that we have our crisp lines, looks really fancy, we're gonna start with the face. So I mix the Angel Veil with the um, hard candy illuminate and strobing drops that I just talked about on Wednesday. I like, I feel like it really brightened my face and I really like it. So then I have this brush. This is the brush from China I was telling you guys about in my haul. It's really like short and really stiff. And for some reason there was a couple of <laughs> bristles out of place. But anyways, I'm loving it. And then I'm using this foundation. This is the what is it called? The True Touch Moisturizing Foundation. Um, it was a little bit light for me. You'll kind of see. I feel like it's a little bit light, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Probably won't use it again. But I like this brush because you can really press in the foundation into your skin, and I love it. So I press it in, and then I buff. I love it. Then I'm using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural, and I'm just using that underneath the eye to cancel out under eye circles and brighten and do all that jazz. Kind of went a little crazy with the concealer, and so I had some leftover, so I put it on my nose, and of course I can't make a straight, nice on my, straight line on my nose. But anyways, I put it everywhere that I want to highlight, and then I went in with the brush and my, what is this, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I blended it out. And I'm going back into that moss color and I'm going right into the lower lid and I'm going to blend that color out mixed with the taupe color. I'm going to mix those together and blend it out really, really nicely. Don't be scared to blend and to put color under there. It's really going to bring this eye look together. Then using a black eyeliner, this one is the Starlux Coal Pencil. I'm going to line my tight line, and then we're of course going to use liquid liner, and this is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I love this. Like, seriously, it's the best thing ever. And I'm not gonna do a wing, I'm just gonna line um, right close to the lash line. It's just simple as that. And then of course, I'm gonna apply mascara and some lashes. Now I'm going to contour. I did you guys a favor by skipping over the mascara. It gets crazy. So I'm contouring with this e.l.f. Um, contouring palette. And this is the Blush and Bronzer Duo. And this one's in, what is it? Fiji Matte, that's right. It's Fiji Matte. So I'm contouring with that. And then I'm using this e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in Maui. And it did arrive broken and frustrates me because I didn't break it this time to arrive broken but anyways I'm gonna bronze up my face a little bit add some warmth to my face and then I'm using this Ulta cheek color in flush which is a really pretty um, natural type of shade and I'm going to just blend that right over top then for my lips, I'm gonna use this NYC Lip Liner in Bare, which I have been loving. It is drying, but oh my gosh, do I love this. I've been using this underneath all different types of nude lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I love it with the NYX um, Stockholm Lip Matte Lip Cream. Oh, I love that. 
So today I chose to use this one. This one's new to my collection. It's the NYC Expert Last Matte Lip Lacquer in NoHo Matte Nude. And I really like it. I was testing it out for the first time and I love the, how it feels on the lips and I love the color. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to for you to visit me on Instagram and Twitter and all these other social medias. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Oh, she's a baby.